Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video uh, or the MATLAB code for this video, visit uh, us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Uh, in this particular video, we will talk about how to design a low pass filter, which is uh, could be IIR, that means finite impulse response filter, or FIR filter in MATLAB. Specific to IR filter, we will be focusing more on Butterworth kind of filter. So, open MATLAB. In MATLAB, first we need to uh, define a signal uh, which needs to be filtered out from the signal. So, first we define a simulated signal. So, prior to it, let's define the sampling frequency frequency of the signal let's say 5 hertz and time duration of the signal let's say we are generating the signal for 5 seconds and the sample period uh, that means the time axis that is 1 by fs to t so it will create a time axis for that now uh, clc now let's mm, generate our signal sine 2 pi f okay. let's see how this sinusoid signal looks like so this is our sinusoidal signal of 5 hertz frequency with 50 hertz sampling period uh, 100 hertz sampling period okay now let's uh, add the noise into the signal so our noise is AWG noise that means additive white Gaussian noise. The good property of this AWG noise is uh, its spectrum or uh, has a or it is known as a white noise because its spectrum lies over the entire frequency range. So so AWGN x comma let's say one this is the SNR ratio and let's now see how the signal looks like. So this was our sinusoidal signal after adding noise into it. So it is quite disturbing or the noise had distorted the most of the properties of the signal. So if we, let's say we try to see the uh, Fourier transform or the spectrum of this uh, noisy signal. So let's say have a FFT of it that is absolute value of FFT of Z. So now the noise, as you know, the sino spectrum sinusoid is two peaks at the frequency. But uh, now all the other uh, ray frequency range are filled with the noise, and the noise is quite high in this case. Okay. So now we will define a filter. First of all, we will talk about uh, IIR filter. And specifically in IIR filter, we talk about the Butterworth filter, and that's to the low pass filter. So the property of the low pass filter is uh, it uh, uh, passes all the frequency which is up to the cutoff frequency and it stops all the frequency which is outside the cutoff frequency. And the order of the filter determines uh, how sharp uh, there will be a transition from pass band to stop band. So keeping all this in mind and assuming you know the basic theory of the filters. Now first define the order of the filter. Let's say we have order of 5 of IR filter and we need to define the cutoff frequency and that should be in normalized way. That means in omega c. So in making in order to make uh, the normalized we need to divide the normal frequency divided by sampling frequency so if we talk about our cutoff frequency because our signal is of 5 hertz duration so we should have the cutoff frequency of 10 hertz so that it is well within the range of the pass band if we take the cutoff frequency of 5 hertz only so our signal whose frequency uh, who in the signal which we want to uh, filter out is very near to the edge of the cutoff and that may create a problem so 
we will take uh, uh, additional uh, 5 hertz band in order to make sure our signal frequency is well within the range of the pass band so let's make it uh, omega c uh, into f5 f5 so this is the normalized frequency uh, so normalized cutoff frequency uh, we want to it to up to 10 so we'll take 10 by fs so this is the basic concept of dsp if you have gone through it and now we will define a filter so filter is defined very easily so it gives the numerator and denominator coefficient uh, terms in b comma a so B is the numerator coefficient and A is the denominator coefficient of the IIR transfer function and V U double T E R then O comma W C. So this B and A coefficients have been generated. So this is the P coefficient of order 5 numerator and these are the denominator coefficient. So uh, if we are interested in looking the uh, frequency response of the filter or whether in order to specify whether our design criteria is being met or not so let's say the frequency response of the filter so it will go like this f r e q z b comma a so this is the frequency response of our digital system yeah so it is uh, our frequency was of 10 hertz and so our cutoff is near about 0 0.6 into pi radian per sample and uh, this is a password and this is the stop and just after it it is going uh, up to minus 50 db so there is another tool as well in order to uh, display the frequency response of the filter and that is fv tool and simple b comma a so yeah it also gives the same frequency response so this is near about 0 0.5 uh, was the normalized frequency of the signal and after that there's a uh, decay in the amplitude or uh, amplitude response of the filter so this particular uh, after this this is the stop band and this is a pass band and so now our frequency response looks fine so now we can use uh, our filter command so in order to just make filter there is a command filter so let's say we have a signal filtered signal in x underscore f is just to filter the coefficients and the signal which we want to filter so we want to filter the z so our signal has been filtered this xf let's see okay so this is our filtered signal uh, which is xf and it is a little bit improvement over the uh, previous one let's clear it and um, let's define again with the frequency of um, 5 cutoff frequency and let's say butter and again now plot x underscore f now it is uh, quite uh, better than the previous one uh, but still the uh, amplitude was distorted because the so uh, noise was in a high amplitude so if we uh, go through a uh, script window in which we try to change the amplitude of the signal it is so our noise has been removed uh, by up to a great extent similarly this was the example of the ir filter and that is a butterworth filter similarly we can also design a fir filter so in the case of fir filter let's take same order of order 5 and cutoff frequency same uh, we will change as the numerator and denominator coefficient this is known as fir1 and order comma wc so now this is the fir filter and let's say how its frequency response looks like so 
Okay, this is the typical frequency response of a FIR filter and FB2 one. This is the frequency response of the FIR. Uh, now it's uh, uh, not showing a greater improvement than that of the uh, IR filter. IR filter seems to be much more than that. So let's try to change the order of the filter because generally FIR requires higher order than that of the IR filter. And do it again. Now, now it is a response is uh, better than that the previous one. The one of the benefit why we use FIR is uh, due to its phase response because it provides a linear phase response uh, in the filter uh, filter output. So the distortion is minimum in the output signal. But in the case of uh, IR filter, uh, IR filter doesn't have a linear phase. So due to which uh, most of the times uh, output signal gets distorted due to this non-linear phase property of the IR filter. Now let's filter it, uh, filter the signal and again x comma f equals to filter uh, b comma a comma z and let's see how this signal looks like. So again it also has removed the signal okay in order to have uh, some comparison uh, because it maybe looks like signal has not been removed. Let's subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 plot z and title noisy signal and then this was our original noisy signal subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 plot x underscore f and this is filtered signal and now I have a look uh, this was our noisy signal and this is our filtered signal so it is quite clear like uh, our most of the noise has been removed from the signal the same can be uh, verified uh, by having let's say uh, let's close all okay. and let's say we plot the FFT of the filtered signal yeah so most of the noise has been removed but one of the factor the lower noise was because it has removed the noise from this clearly but from uh, because uh, the order is specified the transition period Transition period means if we have a specified our uh, frequency, that means the cutoff frequency about 5 hertz, that means at lower order the roll off factor will not be that much higher. So, due to which the near uh, uh, exact signal uh, frequency which are near to the cutoff frequency will not be filtered out effectively. So, there are two options either uh, we increase the order, but uh, obviously there are certain drawbacks. Uh, with the increase in the order and uh, uh, if we can keep uh, track of those limitations then we can use the higher order uh, filter so we have created this uh, script and this will be available to download on our website at jcbrolabs.org so in this we will try to uh, visualize various results with the different orders and their effect on the signal frequency. So here uh, our, uh, we have chosen a signal of amplitude 2 and uh, order of 20 is being there. So let's first start with order 5. So it will be easy and uh, we have uh, used both the filters in the same script that is IR, uh, IR butterworth filter and FIR filter. Let's run it. Okay, so this is a signal with noise, and this is the step response as uh, role of the FIR filter. This is the IR filter, and this is for the output signal or the filtered signal of uh, Butterworth filter and this is the fire filter response and this is the output of the fire filter okay. 
so right now the noise is less because the amplitude of the input signal was high it was of 2 so if the amplitude is higher the filtered response filtered signal will be in much more good shape let's increase the order of the filter by 20 and let's save so if you have visualized this one so there is a sharp uh, cut, uh, sharp transition from cut off to other reasons and similarly uh, this is starting portion uh, let's go back to the yeah this was the output of the FIR the signal at the starting has been lost due to the higher order properties of the filter and same similarly for the FIR case the starting portions have been uh, removed or kind of attenuated by higher degrees. So this is a uh, drawback of using higher order filters. So let's say if we have a 40 order filter and similarly here 40 order filter. Uh, again these are the uh, this band uh, will increase if we keep on increasing the order of the filter. So there are several other uh, we can say design aspects or design techniques of the filter through which we can uh, usually uh, 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 we can usually remove this uh, drawbacks of the filters uh, for the higher order. Uh, these are the response so you can try you can download the source code from MATLAB and you can try and experiment with uh, your own signal or your own app or your own applications and come up with the uh, some project kind of thing so I hope you understand in this video you understand how to design a low pass filter uh, whether it is a IR or FIR filter in MATLAB and how to use uh, those particular design filter in order to remove the noise from the signal. So that's it for this video. Thank you.